It has been about one month since the last feeding video, so I think we should do another one today. How are you guys liking the new YouTube layout? I think the dark team looks pretty cool, but the thing is this edit layout button over here, when I click it, it goes back to the old version. So I have no idea what purpose this button is for. I thought if I click edit layout I can customize my page or something but looks like that's not the case. The only thing that I like about this new YouTube layout is the dark theme. Other than that, not so much. But anyways, let's get some dubias ready for the feeding. So for my dubias, I have rearranged the egg crates a little bit like I started put them crisscross because when I put them in one row a lot of them seem to be dying I'm not really sure why maybe because there were lack of ventilation between the egg crates I have no idea but then after I put it arrange them like this they seem to be doing much better so if this if you guys are facing deaths a lot of deaths in your dubia maybe you could try this it might work but that's enough of YouTube and the feeders let's get straight into the feeding video we'll be starting off with my Gramostola rosea slash pottery I've no idea there's been quite a bit of debate for this species The next tea to feed will be my Brachypelma alveceps, the Mexican Golden Red Rump. Looks like we're gonna offer it to her directly. There we go. And I'll take that one out in a bit. You can see her fangs over there digging down into the roach. Move. I gotta get that roach out of my way. There you go. Gotta get this roach before it burrows down. Ugh. Get out. Go. You think you'll live? You're going to the next tea. Roach that thought it could escape is now entering the lair of the OBT. Oh, damn. That was quick. Told you will not survive. Look at those fangs, penetrated right through. Next up, Polcotheria regalis, the Indian ornamental. There we go. This is my five inch female, right through the head. Whoa, now that's a brutal attack. Here's the Acanthoscuria geniculata. The Brazilian white knee. Oh, wow. Right as it hit the ground. Now, these guys never refuse a meal, so if you guys are looking for an aggressive eating tea, this is the one for you. This is the Kilobrachis species King Krachan. The Dark Earth Tiger. There we go. Needed a little bit of encouragement. Not really sure if this one will eat for us because it molted like five days ago. But this is the Tapinikinius gigas, the orange tree spider. Give him a little cricket. Oh, nice. She actually did take it down. Focus, damn it. There we go. Ceratogyrus darlingi, the rare horned baboon. There we go. 
Terinoculus lugardi, the Fort Hall baboon. And there's the Tepanikinius gigas with her cricket. Still alive over there. Right through the head. Ouch. Here's the Hapopelma minax, the Thailand black. Oh, okay. Guess you're not hungry, huh? Are you? Whoa. You're not hungry. <laughs> okay then. I won't feed you today. What's up with you? Not a good day for you, I guess. Oh well. Thanks for the threat display though. Moving on to the Gramostella pulchra, the Brazilian black. Whoa. Just did a backflip for us. That was pretty cool. Here's the Poclotheria striata, the Mysore ornamental. Ah, there we go. Sorry if you can't see this one. This is a Stromatopelma calciatum, the Feather Lake baboon. My phone doesn't pick up in the web, so, oh, I don't think it's hungry. Yep, not hungry. So, uh, I don't want to leave the cricket in because crickets are pretty aggressive. But then again, at the same time, I don't want this tea to bolt because this is a very potent tea. So, I think I'm gonna leave the cricket in there for a while. Never mind, got it. Not sure if this Janiculata wants to eat. They usually always want to eat, but... Oh, I just dropped the roach into the water. Oops. There you go. Oh, there we go. I think we missed the attack. He just took it right off my tongs. Cantoscuria chaquana, the Bolivian pink. Very nice. Here's my adult female OBT. Whoa. Yeah, just a small roach for her because she's already maxed size. So she can't grow anymore. So just a small one should sustain her. Monocentropus balfouri. I doubt she'll eat. She never takes dubious. See? threat mode and she runs not sure why she hates dubia so much oh there we go she took it awesome now that's the first dubia for this girl brachypelma sable awesome the guatemalan red rump there we go Also a very hungry species, never refused food unless in a molt. Now this is an example of one that is in pre-molt. It will refuse food. Acanthoscoria geniculata. This one is Brachypelma albopilosum, the Honduran curly hair. Yep, she got it. I highly doubt my Brachypelma bomi will eat for us, but it's worth a shot. I can only imagine the discomfort she's in right now. So yeah, looks like she doesn't want to eat. But that's fine. Lesiodora klugi, Bahia scarlet. Also in pre mold, I guess. Oh well. This one will surely eat, no doubt. Salmon post Cambridge eye, Trinidad chevron. Very nice. Pretty gen gentle takedown today.
Nandu Carapoensis, the Brazilian red. There we go. Here's a Nandu Chromatis, the Brazilian red and white. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my god. Why is such in a bad mood? Look at this nut job. I guess she doesn't want to eat. Ornithoctonus oreotibialis, the Thailand golden fringed. Nice. Well, that'll be it for the teas. So now let's offer a roach to my Pac-Man frog. There we go. So that'll be it for today's feeding video. I'm really sorry if you can hear screeching noises in the background. Those are the annoying crickets. And that is the main reason why I hate crickets and don't really use them as feeders. The reason I have them is because my African fat-tailed gecko will eat nothing but crickets. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. <laughs>